Hello everyone, welcome to this part 23 of the Twitter clone tutorial. Uh, so in this video, so what are we going to do is we're going to start to set up the uh, following system. So a new feature for the application. So as you know in Twitter you can follow and get followed by someone else. Uh, follow someone don't mean the other one is going to follow you etc. So this is something not like friends on Facebook where both need to agree then uh, we follow each other. So uh, so we're going to start to do like the following uh, setup. So you're going to see it's pretty uh, like uh, something you, like you can do pretty well in NoSQL database. I know it's not that easy. I, I mean, it's more easy in SQL database, but we can do something in NoSQL pretty easy too. So what are we going to do today? It's we're going to talk about the schema, what we're going to do. And we're going to just set up the basic schema, what we're going to need. In the next video, it's going to be about writing the, the action uh, for the schema and make it like uh, work dynamically and also after that in the other video is going to be about working with the resolver taking that to the front end and show that to the user so so the plan at the end of like this four video three four videos is going to be to have like a following system where you can follow and follow see someone follow you and see if you follow someone and also uh, after that we're going to maybe try to uh, do a better feed where you can see the tweet, uh, the first tweet from your follower, etc. So, uh, when I came to do this, I was, okay, so what is the plan to do with the NoSQL database? Oh, we can, like, uh, join table uh, in SQL, but, like, how we can do this in NoSQL? So, you have, like, two kind of way, and I, I, I mean, I'm not the, the best... Uh, <laughs> in uh, database design but from what I think would be good it's not this one <laughs> so this one it's finally when you have a user you're gonna like this is what we have right now and finally it's maybe oh I'm gonna maybe add the following uh, array where I'm gonna add all the user ID about the one I follow uh, and the same for the follower I just think that don't scale a lot I mean that's gonna be really better for your performance but the thing is uh, think about that. You have 60 megabyte ma maximum for your uh, MongoDB document. So if this user follow a thousand user and get followed by uh, it's Justin Bieber, so 60, uh, 6 million. Like you see what I mean? So uh, what I think would be better is this kind of stuff. Why finally, when a user create himself, like we did the, with the favorite tweet, we're going to create a new database, a new collection called following user who's going to have the index of the user ID here. So, like, finally, when the user gets created, he, we create a collection where you're going to have the user ID there, who's going to be indexed, so it's going to be better for the performance to uh, find the following uh, collection. So when I say index, it's by default, MongoDB index the ID. We can add another index, so it's going to be quicker. And you're going to get a following uh, following uh, array who's going to be empty by default so this thing work okay so this is pretty simple I mean every time you follow someone uh, we feel this uh, thing uh, now all I think about that it's uh, example it's example uh, all we're gonna uh, find like the con I know what you can do it's maybe like, oh, I'm going to get my following and I'm going to get my following here and I'm going to get the con. But I just think it would be good sometimes you don't want to like get your following stuff here and maybe just have a con here will start at zero. So every time you follow, uh, you get, you follow someone, we're going to add one here. When you unfollow someone, we're going to remove one here. So almost like what we did with the like. And that's going to be almost the same with the follower. So when someone follow you, because we're going to already have the ID of the user that this user is going to follow, we can just add plus one to the user you, you follow. So example, you, you follow me. By doing this, you have my ID. And when I'm going to create this following um, like uh, action, I'm going to have my ID so I can find me and, and update. And I'm going to just do plus one to my stuff. And if you unfollow me, that's going to do minus one here. So this is all I have to think about that. And um, like, uh, and see, like, uh, I think that can be pretty, pretty good uh, with this thing. I have also think about, like, if we want to add an uh, example, like Twitter do, uh, when you go to a profile of someone who follow you, they can see 
uh, follow you, etc. But you know the beauty of NoSQL is we can always manage the schema and change it without migration. So we think we can think about this in the future video. And also, if you think this kind of setup here it's bad, just told me. I mean, NoSQL it's maybe not my, my best stuff, but I mean, I try to just uh, give you the most I, I can. So this is what we're gonna do finally. Just this video don't, don't gonna be crazy. We're just gonna create a schema finally, and that was more about talking. So what we're gonna do finally is we're gonna go to the uh, model where here we're gonna just create I'm really bad with names so I'm gonna call that uh, following user uh, yes so in this one finally we're gonna import mongoose and the schema from mongoose after that, I'm gonna create a following user uh, schema equal new uh, schema and now here I can put my stuff and finally we're gonna uh, do the export default uh, mongoose.model and following user and I'm gonna put following user like that and uh, sorry for the I mean uh, I, I've just set up the code insider so this is not the uh, like the, the the one normally so I have not all my setup here so like uh, I don't like this color uh, here but I mean the just color so I didn't I forget to change it for you sorry about that so here what we need so if we check back to the video here uh, not the video but the, here we have following user we need the user ID and the following so it's gonna be pretty easy so we see user ID was gonna be a type of uh, schema that uh, type that object ID like that and after that what we're gonna say it's the ref and we're gonna say we have the user a user after that we're gonna say following who's gonna be finally an array of object here where I'm gonna have like almost the same thing it's the same ref so it's like a it's like it's it's almost like a relationship between like it's user to other users so that's why it's uh, you need to do thing like this after that we're gonna say following user schema dot uh, index so here you can add uh, an index index so I'm gonna say user ID I'm gonna say one so that's gonna mean yes and also I'm gonna say unique true so that mean uh, for sure we don't gonna create two times this table here and uh, you can also do the same if you want here so now we have this so now what we can do it's go inside the user resolver do like what we did with the favorite tweet so shift command D or shift control D to copy paste that below following user following user and now we're gonna do almost the same thing here so shift command D but now I'm gonna put the following user so finally when we sign up we create a favorite tweet collection and we create also a following user collection and now the only thing we need to do finally to, for the end of this video is going to be inside my user now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add here following scunt so that's it's the con I just show you right there who's going to be type of uh, number and I'm going to say uh, default zero and I'm gonna do the same with shift command D again follower count like that so now when my user is create himself so when he, he sign up we get all this stuff here with zero and zero for both because I mean you just create your account you must be like no like nobody is gonna create his account and at the second you're gonna get like a million of followers so that's why you like you start all at zero and after that here the resolver for now we just say the follow, following user create blah 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 so in the next video the plan is going to be okay so how we're going to manage to push an id inside the array of the user uh, follow, uh, following and also how to uh, increment this following con and follower con so i hope you enjoyed this little video and i'm going to talk later again remember the code or is on github and the github link is in the description hope you enjoy it and we talk later have a good night everyone bye